The discovery of a new species of human-like primate has shaken up the scientific community and raised new questions about early human evolution. Found in a remote chamber of a cave in Africa, the fossils have been dated to between 236,000 and 335,000 years old and represent one of the largest collections of hominin fossils ever discovered. With a unique combination of both primitive and modern physical traits, the species has challenged our existing understanding of the evolution and dispersal of early human species. The discovery continues to prompt further research and discussion in the field of paleoanthropology. Homo nalidi is an extinct species of hominin, human-like primate, that lived in Africa between 236,000 and 335,000 years ago. Its fossils were first discovered in 2013 in the Rising Star Cave in South Africa. The remains of over 15 individuals of the species were found in the cave, making it one of the largest collections of hominin fossils ever discovered. The species was named Homo nalidi, with nalidi meaning star in the Sotho language in reference to the remote chamber of the cave where the fossils were found, which researchers described as like looking up at the night sky. Homo nalidi has a unique combination of physical traits that are both primitive and modern, making its classification as a species of Homo, the genus that includes modern humans, controversial. The brain size of the Homo nalidi is estimated to be similar to that of the Australopithecus afarensis and much smaller than that of modern humans. The hands of Homo nalidi are very similar to those of modern humans with the ability to make and use tools. However, its feet are more primitive, suggesting that the species was still adapted for climbing and spending time in trees. Homo nalidi was a relatively small and slender species, with a body size and shape similar to that of the famous Lucy fossil of the species Australopithecus afarensis. The discovery of Homo nalidi has challenged the existing understanding of early human evolution for several reasons. The estimated age of the fossils is relatively recent compared to other early human species, suggesting that multiple human-like species may have existed and coexisted in Africa during this time. Second, the anatomy of Homo nalidi is unique, possessing a mixture of both primitive and modern traits. This has made it difficult to classify and has sparked debate about its evolutionary relationships with other early human species. Also, the fact that the fossils were found in a remote chamber of the cave, rather than scattered throughout, has led some researchers to suggest that Homo nalidi had the ability to intentionally bury its dead, which was previously thought to be a uniquely human behavior. The discovery of over 15 individuals of the same species in one place is rare in the fossil record and provides a unique opportunity to study the anatomy and behavior of an extinct species. The discovery of Homo nalidi in South Africa adds to the growing evidence of early human evolution and dispersal across the African continent, challenging the previously held idea that human evolution was centered in East Africa. The discovery of Homo nalidi was the result of an expedition led by paleoanthropologist Lee Berger of the University of Witwatersand in Johannesburg, South Africa. In 2013, Berger received a tip from local cavers that there was a previously unexplored cave system in the Cradle of Humankind region, northwest of Johannesburg. Berger assembled a team of experienced cavers, including his son Matthew, to explore the cave system. After crawling and squeezing through narrow passages, the team eventually discovered a chamber deep in the cave system that contained a large number of hominin fossils. The chamber was difficult to access and required a complex and dangerous climb which prevented large-scale excavation at the time. Berger then put out a call for experienced excavators who were also small and slender enough to fit through the narrow passage and reach the chamber. This resulted in a team of six underground astronauts, including women with experience and spelunking and caving. Over the course of three years, the team excavated more than 1,500 fossil fragments from the chamber, eventually identifying them as belonging to a previously unknown species of hominin, which they named Homo nalidi. The discovery of Homo nalidi was significant not only because of the age and the rarity of the fossils, but also because of the difficulty and complexity of the excavation process, which required a combination of advanced scientific methods and old-fashioned physical skill and bravery. 
The discovery of Homo naledi did not fundamentally change the history of human evolution, but it has significantly expanded our knowledge of the diversity and relationships among early human species and challenged our previous assumptions. Before the discovery of Homo naledi, it was believed that there was a linear progression from early hominins to modern humans, with only a few key species leading to our current form. However, the discovery of Homo naledi and other recent finds have shown that there was much more diversity and variation among early human species, and that multiple hominin species may have coexisted and interacted with each other. The discovery of Homo naledi has also challenged our previous assumptions about the geographic distribution and behavior of early human species. The fact that the fossils were discovered in South Africa rather than in East Africa, where many other early human fossils have been found, suggests that human evolution and dispersal across the continent may have been more complex than previously thought. The discovery of the fossils in a remote chamber of the cave and the possibility that they were intentionally buried has challenged our previous assumptions about the development of complex behaviors and culture in human evolution. Previously, there was a common assumption in the field of human evolution that the development of complex behaviors and culture, such as the use of tools and language, was a result of a rapid and significant increase in brain size and cognitive ability in early humans. This idea was based on the observation that the size of the human brain has increased significantly over the course of human evolution. It was thought that this increase in brain size and cognitive ability was what allowed early humans to develop increasingly complex behaviors and cultural innovations. However, the discovery of Homo naledi challenged this assumption. The fossils of Homo naledi have a small brain size and primitive features, suggesting that the species was not capable of the level of cognitive complexity that was previously thought to be necessary for the development of advanced behaviors and culture. Despite this, the discovery of Homo naledi also provides evidence that the species was capable of deliberate and purposeful behavior, such as the intentional disposal of dead individuals in the deep and difficult to reach chamber where the fossils were found. This suggests that the development of complex behavior and culture may have been a more gradual and complex process than previously thought, and that other factors such as social learning, cultural transmission, and environmental pressures may have played important roles in shaping the evolution of human behavior and culture. The discovery of Homo naledi is a testament to the importance of ongoing scientific research and exploration, and the willingness to challenge established theories and assumptions in order to expand our understanding of the natural world. As we continue to learn more about our evolutionary past, we are reminded of the rich diversity and complexity of life on Earth and the remarkable journey that has brought us to where we are today. Let us know what you think of this video in the comments. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell to see more amazing videos like this. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.